Hey folks, this is a quick public service announcement. If you've seen my channel, you know I've been using the Insta One R dual version 360 camera for three years now. Well, recently I purchased the Insta One 360X3 simply because of the new invisible selfie stick capability. There are a few things that they don't tell you. You may have issues getting the Q button to work. This allows you to start and stop the recording while underwater. This is a firmware issue. Make sure you install the right one. You are asked to use the Insta One app on your phone to upgrade the new device and its firmware as soon as you get it. I did it. I have an iPhone 14 Pro. The latest version shows as version 1.0.68. If you follow the instructions, verify the firmware on the camera and that it shows what is on your phone. If you load it, it will load 1.0.68. Looks great, right? Until you press the Q button. It will send you to a selection menu for the older quick shot mode, which has items like skiing and other customizable settings, including scuba. I don't know why they got rid of these. These are no longer available. Hopefully they'll bring them back in a new issue. If you have the underwater selfie package, okay, that's not gonna help you if you're trying to use it. Here's what you have to do. You need to get version 1.0.8. Trying to get that using your phone won't work. You have to get it using your computer. Go to the link that I leave in the description. Then follow the steps to download to your computer once the bin file is on your computer, turn on your new X3, swipe down in the shortcut modes and go to settings and select USB mode dash U disk mode. Then connect the X3 with the type C cable they gave you to your computer. Go to file mode and find your new X3. Drag the bin file onto the SD card. Don't put it in a DCIM folder or any other folder. Just add it to the card. They'll tell you to delete the old firmware bin, but if you have a new card, there won't be one. So just ignore that. Remove the cord from the X3 from the computer. The X3 will shut down automatically. Press the power button. Once the X3 is on, it will begin the firmware upgrade. The screen will go black, but the power light will still be blue. Once it's done, go back to settings to check the firmware. Swipe down. It should now show 1.0.8 at this time. When I clicked on the Q button again, it did nothing. There's one more step. Slide down for the shortcut menu. Select the housing's little bulb icon. It'll prompt you whether you want the 2022 or the 2023 version of the case. Select 2023. Now you're good to go, other than some of those previous settings. If you already had the X3, the Invisible Selfie bundle did not come with a charging station or extra batteries. You can pick them up online. You will need a 12 volt, three amp fast charger. I'm using this until I get a beefier model. Well, I hope you found this helpful. I will be playing with mine shortly, so look for some upcoming videos. Go have fun with your new X3, and I'll see you next time.